Welcome back to the Debrenic Channel, and today we are talking about Lake Me. As the thing is rising up, and you guys are going to be surprised with the numbers that are going on. I haven't done a report on this since about June or July, and I thought, take a look and see what's going on, and you guys are going to be shocked. More to come right after this. Please stick around. <music> Welcome back to the Brennick Channel, and if you live in Vegas, you know all about the drought that plagued the place from the early 2000s to basically 2017, and now we're starting to get back towards a rainy period there, and that's good news. So let's check the numbers for the peaks of 2017, 2018, and now 2019. So here's what the numbers at Lake Mead, as you're looking at a picture there, um, this is what it was in 2017. The lake level in 2017 was at 1,089.77 feet. That was 139.23 feet below full pool. That is a big difference. And this lake doesn't fluctuate very much. In the wintertime, it does come up as they release water from Lake Powell. In the summertime, it drops real low. Let's go check and see what the level was in 2018. The lake level in 2018 was 1,088.33 feet. And this thing didn't get quite as high as it did in 2017 and that was a bit of concern but this year we're not even to the end of the year yet and this thing is rising rapidly as it's already surpassed 2018 it's almost surpassed 2017 here is the lake level now it is at 1088.61 feet so this thing is rising and this morning I was looking at the numbers and it was 1088 0.40 feet so this thing's come up almost a quarter inch in the last 12 hours so that's pretty crazy and it's insane but it's a good sign of good news and look at this forecast here to come it's going to be wet for the next few days and that's a good thing in the valley the colorado valley that is you can see anywhere between a quarter inch to all the way up to two to three inches of rain in certain spots now that two to three inches of rain is going to run off and it's going to go down Lake Mead where it will help fill it up. Now, will this pattern continue? We sure hope so. We hope they get two to three inches every week and the thing would be good as golden by spring, maybe all the way full. And the snowpack, let's check that out. The snowpack is really good shape this year as you got a minimum of four inches in the Colorado Valley all the way up to several feet of snow. So that's a good thing and that's going to help these levels rise. And by next year, I predict that it will be out of the 1099s into the 1100s which it hasn't been in years so that is probably a good thing i could be wrong i have been wrong before but this is my prediction i think that it's a good possibility that this thing could rise plus they're, they're conserving water on the river now from my understanding and one last thing before i go you check out the bottom of nevada and, and you got utah right there also in arizona all that in that corner there, the three states that connect. That is the Colorado River Valley. So it's raining out there already. So that's spot on what they were saying. We'll see if this continues. I mean, it's going to be wet, dry, wet, dry. But this is the time of the year where it definitely, the rain definitely picks up this time of year. So hopefully they get a whole bunch and it, not too much at once, but hopefully they get a whole bunch and it definitely takes care of this problem out there is anytime a lake's below 140 some odd feet that's just insane so that's all i have for today thanks for watching you guys have a blessed day and we'll be back tomorrow with a whole different topic and a new video and if you have anything that you want to hear any topics that you want to hear on leave down below and i'll research it and get the thing together and try to do my best to get it for you it may take a week or so but i definitely get to it sooner or later you guys have a blessed day. Please like and subscribe if you haven't already. We'll see you next time on the Burnett Channel. God bless.